Jack Daniels had a problem. Young folk weren't drinking it, seeing it as too old hat for him. It needed a way of getting back in with the in crowd. In Tennessee, the Barrel House is a place where every barrel of Jack Daniels whiskey has been left in the tour since 1866, where its character is formed, you might say. We would share some of that character by bringing our version of the Barrel House to the three biggest music festivals in Australia. First, we told everyone about it on social media and TV. The Barrel House is a special place for us, and this festival season, it could be for you too because Jack Daniels is bringing it to Australia, piece by piece. From the outside, it looked like a slice of Tennessee had touched down on the other side of the world. But inside... I love it, it's great. You go straight into a clubby vibe. This place in here should be jumping and cooking, it's cool. It was an intimate venue featuring an amazing lineup and a bar trialing new products. A website told people where to find it and who was playing, helping it become a big hit at the festivals, attracting over 78,000 visitors in six days. Not bad for a venue that only holds 300 people at a time. Each time the Barrel House appeared, we used it to make content films about the artists performing there. In the beginning, before we went on stage, there was a lot of fast heart pumping. You know, everyone just chanting for us to come on. That was a rush. Helping sell a venue ahead of the next festival, as well as the Jack Daniels brand to everyone who couldn't make it in person. Over half a million people watched the Barrel House films, introducing ever more fans to the brand. On a media spend of just $155,000, the campaign achieved a total of 7.9 million impressions and was embraced by a new generation of fans on Facebook. And we sold a fair few drinks too giving a very respectable ROI of 323%. Turns out Jack's not so out of step with the young folk after all. <laughs>